بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اینڈ السلام علیکم پاکستان ویلکم بیک ٹو کارپوریٹ گورننس اینڈ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو بی ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ اے ویری امپورٹنٹ ٹاپک وچ ٹینس ٹو بیسکلی اسٹینڈرڈائز اینڈ انسٹیٹیوشنلائز فائنینشیل رپورٹنگ وی بین ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ دی امپورٹنس آف دا بورڈ وی بین ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ دی امپورٹنس آف آڈٹس اباؤٹ ہاؤ فائنینشیل پروڈینشیل ریگولیشنز آر ایکسٹریملی امپورٹنٹ دا رول آف ڈفرینٹ اسٹیک ہولڈرز شیئر ہولڈرز Uh, and also how uh, it becomes extremely important that in corporate governance uh, the financial standards are met and all of the prudential regulations and all of the financial regulations uh, which are stipulated by different agencies and by different laws uh, they have to be fulfilled we've looked at the role of the internal and external auditor and again uh, seeing how the board and the top management ensure that there is good corporate governance today we're going to take the step further we're going to go on to the international standard which is called the IFRS the international financial uh, reporting standard an extremely important standard and its application in Pakistan now when we are talking about the international financial reporting standard then from the name itself what we see is is that uh, it's about financial reporting it is standardized across the world and there are certain regulations which have to be followed ditto by the organization to ensure that they can get certified by this particular standard and the custodian of this standard in Pakistan are basically uh, the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Pakistan they are the ones who ensure that the organizations which are following the IFRS they stick to the stipulations and ensure that the financial reporting is done in such a structured and institutionalized way that anyone around the world can tend to understand it now when we look at it then uh, ladies and gentlemen the international financial reporting standard commonly known as the IFRS provides supported standards for emerging countries to help them boost their financial revenues by displaying the fair and genuine standing of the economy so again what we see is is that through this uh, IFRS uh, we can ensure more homogeneity uh, across the globe and also ensure that those countries which are lesser advanced but can adhere to these standards they can come at par with the more advanced countries and therefore they can be better sharing of information and also an understanding of how things are done rather than having indigenous structures indigenous standards which others cannot tend to comprehend so that is one of the most important things ifrs has been implemented in a number of countries and several are proceeding to enforce it in the near future this is due to the fact that all registered international organizations follow ifrs so again we see this trend which is moving in that uh, countries and organizations are adhering and accepting the IFRS and following it despite the fact that there are many impediments and obstacles but definitely by following it you come into the international comity of nations and the international comity of institutions which has its own benefits now when we are talking about these benefits then one of the most important is is that uh, there is resource all uh, allotment and that can come from different countries because they understand the financial reporting which is being done which is basically brewing up the whole economy and by that the economic process the economic aggrandizement the economic growth that can be assessed by different organizations and countries in a better way uh, there is also assessment of comparative quality so that then uh, different institutions and different countries can be uh, cross assessed in a better way uh, we see that uh, there is expanded portfolios why because what happens is is that as the international understanding becomes better then many more opportunities are created through boosted investments just like we are seeing in pakistan how cpec has come in and more than 100 billion dollars has basically pumped in then we see more uh, direct financial uh, investment uh, coming in uh, from across the world and a very important thing which tends to emerge from the ifrs is the cost effectiveness because again uh, different international standards are being met and different Uh, matrices and frameworks uh, are being followed which overall ensure cost effectiveness and that leads to enhanced financial declarations which can be understood across the globe so it gives an internationalization context to whatever a country or different organizations are doing and creates a better understanding of the economy which provides opportunities from around the world to come into the economy and can benefit different organizations therefore for countries like ifr for countries like pakistan ifrs is a very very important tool 
to move ahead in uh, the economic context and the global economic context. Now, IFRS implementation, just like I mentioned earlier, is done through the Institute of Chartered Accounts of Pakistan. It uh, reviews the IFRS and now it is being implemented through the Securities Exchange Commission of Pakistan 1984 Companies Ordinance. So, that is what we basically uh, are seeing. All organizations are bound to follow the standard in maintaining uh, their financial records. So, just like I mentioned earlier, the, the structure of the financial records uh, now has a international flavor and can be understood around the world. Uh, in Pakistan, we basically see that the uh, IFRS principles are enforced through the International Accounting Standards Board, the IASB, uh, with the exception of IFRS 1 and 9, which still are under discussion and negotiation. The strategy for the acceptance of IFRS by all public organizations is basically formulated by ICAP, just mentioned earlier. Uh, according to the strategy formulated by ICAP, strict administration of IFRS along with regular follow-ups allows the entities to assess the issues coming under the implementation of IRS. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, just as an overview, because this is basically part one of the IFRS, uh, we see that there are certain important components, IFRS itself, the International Accounting Standard Board and um, uh, ICAP, the, I, the Institute for Chartered Accounts of Pakistan, uh, complemented by the Securities Exchange Commission of Pakistan. They are the main stakeholders in IFRS and through IFRS uh, organizations can get more global acceptab acceptability, can contribute in a better way towards the national economy and Pakistan can grow uh, economically because of the contribution, uh, the, the aggregated comp con contribution which is coming together through the different organizations and corporate governance and through this process of following international standards. Thank you so much.